Good morning, Quidditch fans. It's Wednesday. I'm sitting here in Union Square. General Washington is behind me somewhere. Behind my head. That's where he is. This week's theme, of course, is Harry Potter. And Stevie, I gotta be honest with you, the nail right on the head yesterday. You know, what I've been thinking of the last few weeks, and really the last few months, honestly, since the first HB7 movie came out, really isn't a feeling of sadness, but a feeling of, um, I mean, I, it's not a feeling of sadness. When I read, when I, I'm trying to vlog. You know, when I finished, um, eighth reading the seventh book, when I finished reading Deathly Hallows, I didn't cry like a lot of people did. In fact, I smiled because the characters that I grew up to know and to love, the epilogue showed they were able to lead happy lives and that after so much sorrow and bloodshed, they were able to maintain a close bond and were able to maintain friendship and were, you know, it, it truly was beautiful. And, and so I, I really couldn't cry, you know, and I really probably won't cry during HB7 Part 2, you know, except for maybe Tears of Joy in a way, seeing characters that I imagine come to life in their, in their finest hour. So yeah, that's really how I'm feeling when it comes to, um, when it comes to Harry Potter currently. It's, it, it, and my feeling is that to the folks that think that this movie marks the end of Harry Potter, marks the end of a generation marks the end of their childhoods. Well, as for the latter, there are certainly other certainly things from things from which nostalgia can be tapped. And tangentially related to that, that it never really ends. There have been books that have captivated generations before. Al Frank Baum's The Wizard of Oz, Alice in Wonderland. They've been there and they've maintained their presence for many, many years. And I think Harry Potter will become that as well that it will persist and it will last and will be passed down from generation to generation. And with that, the same quirky thing that the fandom does from writing musicals to Potter Puppet Pals to Quidditch to right here in this very park putting nine and three quarters on the, um, on the subway side. So it really never ends. It, 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 it will persist, I believe. And Frankly, I just want to see how it grows from here. So, Robin, love to hear your thoughts, and I'll see you all next week. By the way, unlike a lot of other people, I'm not wearing a Harry Potter shirt this week. I'm wearing my um, my new Doctor Who TARDIS threadless tee that I think is absolutely freaking awesome and very comfortable too. It's more comfortable on the inside and the outside, which I think is a bit ironic.